Hello everyone, my name is Bindu and in this video I am going to talk about pagination in SQL Server 2012. Pagination is equally distributing the result set in multiple pages. In the application, when you have a large number of result set that's coming from backend, you don't want to dump all the result set in one page. Instead, you want to equally distribute it in multiple pages. That you can achieve it using pagination. So for uh, applying for implementing pagination in SQL Server, SQL Server 2012 version has provided a new clause which is offset and fetch. Using this clause, it's very easy to uh, implement the pagination in the applications. Let's see how we do it. I have a table called products and I have 100 records in the table. What I want to achieve is I want to distribute these 100 rows in 10 different pages. For that, I'll be using offset and fetch. Um, let's see the syntax of offset and fetch now. The syntax is uh, very simple. You select the uh, columns you want to have and from the table and you order it. And you have offset and fetch clauses here. Offset tells you number of rows to skip and fetch will tell you a number of rows you want to have in one page. So if I run this query, I'll get the records from 11 to 20. That's because I'm having uh, in offset clause, I'm having 10 here, which means I'm asking SQL Server to skip 10 records and fetch next 10 records after skipping first 10. That's the reason why it gave me the records from 11 to 20. So if I want to do it from the application, instead of running a SQL query, I would create a stored procedure. Let's see how we create a stored procedure for this offset and fetch. Here I'm creating the stored procedure, passing page number and page size as parameters. And uh, rest of the query is exactly the same, except instead of passing the number directly, I'm passing in the variables here. Here for offset, I provided page number minus one into page size, um, which means if I want to get uh, the same result, with same result like 11 to 20 I the page number should be 2 because I'm skipping first 10 rows which would be the rows in the first page so from 11 to 20 the records would be in second page so the page number is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1 and then I want to have 10 records per page so 1 into 10 would be 10 rows so I'm saying offset 10 rows and fetch next 10 rows so because the page size is 10. So when I execute the stored procedure, I get exactly the same result we saw in the previous window.